Hello guys, it is Saturday, October 29th. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. This week is actually gonna be slightly different. I think the last, the first two vlogs I made were very much like me cleaning, me organizing, me talking about shows. But this week is gonna be a bit more like lively, I think, because I'm going to my friend's house near Toronto. I'm gonna be there for the week. So I'm finally gonna have someone else in my vlog. Let's go to Jenna's house. Let's go. To Jenna's house. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go to Jenna's house. I don't know how to dance. Now I'm about to film some TikToks. My TikTok is all about like relatable stuff, lifestyle, etc. Go follow me on TikTok if you aren't following me on TikTok. I'm about to go film on TikTok, but first I need to get ready. So let's get ready. We are ready to film. I am wearing this black dress. It is, or not black, wow. I'm not colorblind, people. Um, <laughs> this orange dress from Forever 21. I just wanted something light and fun for this video. So now it is time to film my TikTok coming at you in three, two, one. So I'm looking for a yellow bone, long hair star. star. Thick and hips come get in my car. So it's Monday, October 31st, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. I'm going to my friend Jenna's house right now because me and my other friend Mampo are staying there for the whole week because Jenna is going to Ghana for like two months. But we're about to head, I'm about to take the train over there. It's like a three hour train ride. So I'm gonna do some editing on, on the train and come along on the journey with me on this spooky, spooky day. Before we head, I didn't get a chance to introduce this clip, but I wanna show you because it was cool. So yesterday on October 30th, um, me and my boyfriend and some friends, we went to a Halloween immersive dinner experience. It was like a four course dinner. And then we went for like four different Halloween haunted houses. It was sick. I got a little bit drunk. It was fun. A little bit tipsy, not drunk. Um, so here's the footage. much because i wanted to enjoy the experience but it was really cool um it was low lighting so it wasn't like the best quality but it was fun as hell and now we are going to the train station <laughs> 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 This is her costume because uh, she it's doesn't. It's uncomfortable. Okay. Wear it. I can't. Okay, you have to go put something else on. I will. Okay. Are you guys drinking already? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Jenna, how does it feel to be cleaning on your own birthday? <gasps> Honestly, <laughs> where's my mom? She's like, do the dishes. I'm like, Jenna, I'm like, and it's like the perfect exposition because you have your happy birthday balloon right here. Yeah, and all you see is you in the background cleaning. She's so rude. <laughs> how was the party last night? It was so bad. Oh my God. Yeah? Did you had a fun time? Yeah. Did you, you like your party? makeshift pinata of the gingerbread house? Did you get a video of that? Yeah, I got a video of it. I got like a video like all through the night until I got too drunk and then Did you get shit a video of me um, blowing up my cake? I don't think so. Shit. I don't even know if I saw you blowing up cake. I don't yeah, know if I was around. Here. And here, in her natural habitat, we have the birthday girl doing some dishes. I'm done. How old are you? 21 forever. Forever 21. Forever 21. You know what I thought about? Recently, you know that one song that Kanye West sings that he's like, Shop at 20, Forever 21, but just turned 30. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's gonna be <laughs> I have one more year left to drop at Forever 21. <laughs> one more year, not even a one more year, like a few months left. And then when April 2023 hits, I have to level up to some Prada and some Louis Vuitton. Apparently, 30 year olds can't shop at Forever 21. Wait. He said, what a nice neighborhood. This looks so middle class. <laughs> That's like the middle class life, you know, you have a mortgage. You have like two, three kids. You have a dog that you didn't really want, but now you love. Yeah. You have to go to work at nine, come back at five. Your wife is probably yelling that you stuck out the garbage before you went to work. You know, middle class. <laughs> how pretty is this? Look how fall has fallen. <laughs> fall, you know how they say spring has sprung? <laughs> fall has fallen. Like, look how pretty this is. This is so cute. I love it. But I hate it at the same time because it reminds me that winter is coming. Are you ready to see the most middle class thing you've ever seen in your life? Let me show you right now. Look at this This is thing. our local library. Take um, a book, leave a book, enjoy a book. Are you so kidding me? So sometimes they have really good books. Are you kidding? Like how cool is this in an Irish country village? How cool? Are you okay, Jenna? <laughs> is that so cool? cool. <laughs> There's other stuff too and they have like little pamphlets like our daily our bread. Our daily bread, wow. Wow, we they're Christians for sure. Today the books don't look too tantalizing. Yeah, too. not today, but sometimes they have really fun stuff. Wow, I've never seen this before. Wow, that is yeah. very interesting. So, right now we're at a vintage store, not vintage Brown thrift Road. store. Yeah. Tell me why I found this. Can you hold this? It's so cute. It's like a it's from White Fox. Yeah, from White Fox, and it's like shorts. So, I'm gonna try it on, see what happens. They don't have a dressing room here, so this is. We're just uh, we're just going with it. Look at Violet's. Oh my gosh. It's turn around. It's so cute though. Violet, your butt is like big. This this is not given. It's not given what it's supposed to give. And I'm done with it. Take it off. Take it off. Please place item in the back area. Of course, I have to get my Zevia, my Doritos, because I think I'm obsessed at this point. Not yeah. Honestly. Honestly. I think I have an obsession and I can't go without it now, so. After we can stop. I think this should be enough for a week. Hopefully. But I'm actually not sure. I, it might not be enough. <laughs> we'll see. Amy, right? Yes. Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm Amy. Hi. 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 Amy, but thank you. I heard you made oh. the sale. Yes, I did. Um, I'm a fan. This girl's trying to get me to try this thing, right? This is honestly like the best thing I've ever had. Like, it's so good. I know it doesn't. Just you have to try it. It's a shawarma um poutine. So let's try this. Yeah, try that one. Like it's good. I and she's like, no, I don't want to be that too. I'm like, you just have one leg because like I need you to try like something that I don't like. Don't look so cute. Like yeah. Heading off back to T Dots. Look at her go. <laughs> there she goes again. I should put some sad music. <laughs> not vlogged at all this whole trip and I was like you know what I'm gonna vlog a lot while I'm here because I'm gonna be with Jenna I'm gonna be with Mampo I'm gonna be with someone apart from myself so I should vlog but I got kind of lazy and I really needed a break from everyday life I feel like I've just had a stable routine 
So you see what had happened was I've just been out here eating and going for like mini walks and watching the challenge and watching shows and talking and not really doing much of anything else. So when I get back to my city, it is time to go hard on a vlog more, even if I won't be around people. Like one thing I have to say about vlogging is it showed me how much like I don't really have a community in the country, like in the city I live. Like all my friends are in one city, all my family is in the other city. So I'm like, shit, I don't vlog with anybody in it really. But I'm gonna go hard. When I get back, I'm gonna you know go hard in the gym because I ate like crazy this time. I'm going to go hard with my healthy, semi-healthy eating. I'm gonna try to vlog more and like have unique ideas hopefully. And we have to discuss. Matter of fact, right now might be a good time to discuss. Can we please discuss from scratch? So me and my friends watched the whole series from scratch. It's like a short series. Eight episodes if you haven't watched it I suggest you don't if you do not like to cry because this show will make you boohoo like <gasps> like you know that yeah <laughs> like I the next day my eyes were so I wish I got a footage of it I had huge under eye bags the next day from crying so much and I felt actual sickness but the show is really good it's really well made Soli Sadana kills it in the role she makes it so believable the whole cast did an amazing job. I saw on Twitter, people were crying, people on TikTok were crying, people everywhere were crying, Instagram. And I was like, what is this? Like, why was everyone crying? I found out the hard way, but it was good. Um, so that's pretty much what I spent my weekend, or not my weekend, my week doing. <laughs> Instead of vlogging, I was freaking watching Love is Blind and I was watching From Scratch. Now we're gonna head over to Jenna's parents' house for the last few hours of my stay before I have to go take the train. Tune in in like two seconds. Look at Violet. She's the dog whisperer. I am. She <laughs> loves me. They're literally like commanding you. Like doing as you command. Commanding you. They're commanding me. Doing as you command them. Whatever. Mia. 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 Luna. Now you look. We're on Violet's vlog. Um, we're having the keg steaks tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ruth's Chris. Mm -hmm. My brother made steak. Yep. It's delicious. Do you like your steak medium rare? Mm-hmm. I like it sometimes even rare. Rare Chicago blue? Mm-mm, not blue. Do you guys remember? At my birthday dinner, when, when Eric's like, I want a Chicago blue one, he got a Chicago blue he's like, what the fuck is this? It's like barely cooked. <laughs> Thanks for waiting with me. Thanks for coming. Got my stuff. Like a little Canadian flag. 